Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is a late day. I'm up late. Am I up late? Yeah. Yeah. Sophia. Yeah. Well, Sophia was up and ready and down here a million times. Cause Daisy tricks you. She makes you think she's going downstairs so she can go pee, but instead she's just getting a toy. Yeah. So Sophie was up and down. All right, we are ready to head down to the bar. All the puppies are here. Daisy didn't get to go last night because, <laughs> shut up and let's go, she says. Uh, we got back late from our trail ride and Sam had to get the horses in quick so that we could finish editing because it took us till like midnight. And my kick and my boots on the right feet, that's what happens when you're late. And uh, so she's making sure that she's not gonna miss it today, are you? Yes, you're going, you're she going. Yes, you are. I wanna ride up this path today. Like, I think that'd be fun. I wanna ride up this path today. Literally so tired. You can tell by the level of care I put into my hair today. Yeah, so tired I am. Hi, Penny Pickle. Hi, sweetness. I know, I didn't get to see you yesterday. I literally didn't see her all day yesterday. Just from afar. And sometimes she stands at that gate and stares at me when I come out of the house. And I feel the guilt, you guys. I feel it. But yesterday was about trail riding. Oh, hello. So suddenly the door opens and God arrives. Oh no, forgot the medicine. Oh, man, see, tired out. All she, all I give her is a uh, ulcer supplement. All right, Pen. Yeah, I can see you had a good sleep. I can see you had a good sleep. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, you are a mess. Oh my goodness, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Can't you find the dry spot to sleep? I know, but good stuff everywhere. So. You guys have all seen the video yesterday where it just got so crazy, four wheelers flying everywhere. And I want to tell you guys what was the saddest part of the whole thing. The saddest part of the whole thing is that everybody could hear that girl screaming, like even Sam and Sophie. And their first thought was that it was me. They all thought it was me screaming. Before we messaged and said, like before we sent a message to them and said, like send the boys back, the girls hurt. Uh, they were already walking down the path. Were you walking down the path with Dad? We were walking down a different path. Yeah. No, we actually were because we thought it was you hurt. Yeah. Because knowing you, you don't do anything. You just stand there and let people run over you. They, they thought, they all thought it was me. They thought it was me that was hurt. Uh, when you heard the screaming, what did you do? Um, I started to get worried and then I saw you walking. She, she and then I started worrying, like, just cause someone fell off and the horses are galloping. Yeah. So I'm like, well, if we see one of the horses, I'll just catch them. Yeah. So what did you say to Dad? I hear someone screaming. And then what did Dad say? Me. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> and then I don't know the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, it sucks that I've, like, got hurt enough times or freaked out enough times that when somebody's freaking out, everybody thinks it's me. But I told that girl that was screaming. You guys didn't really get to hear it very well. There are, even though I have music going, there are times you could actually hear it though in the video. I told her like, not very many other people out there can scream like I can scream. <laughs> in fact, I might even give the award for screaming to her over me. That's how good she was. Like, it's not just me that screams in the world, you guys. Also, one thing that was kind of evident, obvious in the video is like, Sam is such an introvert. He's very quiet until you get to know him. And he often and he often comes off as rude, like even in a big group, people will be talking and he's just quiet. Or then sometimes people will be talking to him and he doesn't even say a single word. And I'd be like, Sam! <laughs> just because like it seems like he's rude, but he's really like the best man ever. But until you, you get to know him, you don't understand his way. He's quiet, he's introverted, and he, he just has his own way. Like, and Gabby's the same as him. Gabby, how'd you feel about racing to the rescue of that young girl? I did not want to. <laughs> Gabby did not want to. Do you feel like stress when you have to go into a stressful situation? No. Yeah, like we all have our thing. But here's the other thing. 
when we were there, we met these three people. One, the one boy was 13, one boy was 17, and one girl was 24. And the reason I asked them how old they were is because the 13-year-old boy, totally like Gabby, like you could tell he was all 13, like he was all like quiet, but he was such a, such a hero. Like he jumped off his motorcycle, he jumped off his four-wheeler and drove it into the woods to save our horses. Like that was just amazing. He to save himself. Well, save himself from being trampled and killed by horses? Yeah, that could be it too. But no, he came over the hill, saw the horses there, jumped off before, before I even hardly looked up to see him. Like, he is fast acting. He was really nice. Really quiet too, though. Anyway, let's get on with today. That was yesterday. Let's get on with today. It was an interesting, fun, amazing ride. We stayed and talked to those people for a really long time. I really enjoyed them. That is the mini miracle that I wanted to share with you guys today. Appreciate all the people that God has sent to you in your life that you, that you enjoy being around. Don't focus on any of the ones that stress you out. Only focus on the ones that God sent to you that you enjoy being around. It's when you are with the people that you enjoy that you get the most out of life. So, well, there, find the people that you enjoy. That reminds me, you guys, I got invited to my very first ever girls weekend horse edition. Yeah, they're all gated horses and me and another girl with a non-gated horse. We'd be camping for two days with me and Penny and women so and no me kids. you would ever want? Yeah, <laughs> the camera is all fuzzy. I will. Good girl, yes. My camera's acting up. I don't, ooh, I don't have any treats, Penny. I don't have my coat on. I have treats. I know, she's a dirty mess. Today I'll be down here clean you up. Okay? This way, I want to get the eye boogies. Yes. Oh, they're annoying. Yes. Yeah, her eyes are still better than they were, you guys. Look, she wrote, she laid in pee. I know, she did lay in pee. I got nothing, Pen. I got nothing. <laughs> she wants to play. Grab me that bag of carrots right inside the door there. She wants to play with me. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on. Back up. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh, don't you dare. We're headed up to the house. Daisy is such a happy puppy. She, her favorite thing, getting out, going down to the barn. So it's my favorite thing, too. Today's a busy day. Otherwise, I'd be down in this barn cleaning it up already. All right, it is a gorgeous day, and I'm excited to just stay home play with my ponies like I have a lot of stuff like I, I really struggle in this vlog not to make it all about me and Penny because I just love her and just want to spend time with her so much like I just want to be down there I, I, I it's such a feeling isn't it such a feeling when you love a horse like I just I know I'm so energetic today too but today is gonna be crazy because when Laura has this much energy yeah all right, so I have my first ponytail since I dyed my hair and tore out all the back. If you guys are new or you're just joining in or you didn't hear the so story. That's actually a bun. No, it's, it's not a ponytail. Well, before Christmas, I dyed my hair with a different brand and all my hair in the back fell out. So I have an undercut, accidental undercut. So I couldn't oh, put my hair in a, yeah, I couldn't put my hair in a ponytail for a really long time. It's a bun. <sighs> It's a ponytail. It's, it's a, a bun. bun. It's a high ponytail. It's, it's a, a bun. bun. Can't put my hair in a bun for a really long time because um, I have all this like loose hair at the back. But yesterday when we were on the trail, I was dying of heat and I'm like, today has to happen. It just has to happen. So anyway, we're headed out early. Gabby, what are you eating for breakfast today in your car travels? Oreo cake. Oreo cake. She makes cake in the microwave out of Oreo cookies. And what do you put else do you put in it? ingredients to make it she also cake. puts ingredients in it to make it cake yeah what do you have um ketchup chips yeah so anyways we're early at the barn oh bring some grain bring some grain shoot I'm up in the car Oakley's got my number now always comes to me he's like I know you got the food they all know my pockets yes you do he's such a nice horse you be looking shorter yeah, he looks short, big guy. Hey, you're coming with me. Look at the muscles I on this mine. horse. I see mine. Here. Golden boy! <laughs> here. Come here! <laughs> Come here, golden boy! 
Hi, handsome. How are you? Don't worry. You're not the one. You're not the one today. Wow. Yes. Good, handsome boy. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here. How are you enjoying this heat, eh? I know, you want all the things that I carry in my purse and my pocket. Wow, this dude is shedding out. All right, his leg looks really good too. All well, that riding you did yesterday and we've been giving him some supplements Don't worry, Gina, to help around, with him stocking up and they're really making a difference. All right, Stormy boy, we're back with you today in lessons. Yeah. It is mud season. My can you find season. a towel on wipe his feet? No, Sophie, can you find a towel and wipe his feet? Look in our bucket. Look in our bucket. What? His cut's closed. His cut is closed. If it gets cold again, Storm, you can have another blanket. Good job. Good job healing up. Being healthy. Such a healthy horse. Yes, you are. I mean, other than his feet and getting occasional cut, he's been pretty healthy, knock on wood. Oh, knock on wood. Yeah, such a good boy. Oh my goodness, look at the hair. I know, I put my hair up today Mom. too. Mom. Okay. Oh, I gotta text Fiona. So just wait, look. Yes, Finn's been playing. That's an interesting bite mark. When Finn plays, he gets the hair pulled out and bite twice there. And that's it. On the other side there. He no. gets out of the way, this boy. He's like, I'm not hanging around with you. Hello. Hello, yes. Scratch the face. I think he's gonna right here because there is a patch of dirt that looks like a hook. Oh, well, hopefully he's but okay. Either that or he just like One thing horses are good at is getting hurt. And fat. <laughs> I mean, if, they, if you give them a choice to get fat, mom. Yeah, that's so satisfying. All that hair. Wow, it's just coming off. Loving it. I'm going to do my girl today, too. Yes. I want to ride today. It's on the schedule. I plan it. The only problem, big problem is that we really need groceries. So I need to go grocery shopping after this. But we will see. We will figure it out, you guys. I'll either ride or go grocery shopping. I need a hair ball. Yeah, that's a lot of hair. Yep. If you could choose food or riding, what would you choose? Comment riding. below. Riding. You choose riding. What would you choose, Gabby? Food. Gabby takes food. Somebody takes riding. I had a happy meal, and I'm really happy. <laughs> you are happy. Yeah. All right. So our coconut oil. Oh, it's frozen. It's hard to use, but I've been putting it on Storm's tail every day so I'm gonna store it in my car while we ride and then hopefully it'll be melted it's literally gorgeous out and I got busy when it's warm you want to spend more time at the barn you want to like do fun stuff you want to clean and you want like I treated Storm's tail and then I and then we had to give uh, Chino his medicine it just took us longer to get out of the barn it's 3 p.m. now so we're headed home and the girls had the best lesson ever of life Sophie, how'd you do in your lesson? Good. Were you scared? Yes. Did you nail it? Yes. Did you no. complain? No. Yeah. Did you say I can't do it? I, I said I'm scared to see if we can her. ride in it. All right. Oh, it's fine. It just needs to be dragged. It just needs to be dragged. It's like sand at the beach. All right, so we are home and I have lots of time to ride. I chose riding over groceries. Yeah, that's the kind of mom I am. I bought some stuff for supper to nut yesterday when I was at the grocery store. And I have stuff for breakfast. So my plan is to, because tomorrow is a penny day, it's a mare day. So my plan is to go grocery shopping tomorrow when Sam's at work after school. So yeah, riding Penny. Hi, sweet girl, you are a mess. Holy heck. Yes, I see, you crossed 
cross the path of me to Penny. Penny, it's gorgeous out here, huh? Isn't it? Oh, she wants, she wants to do something. You guys know, as a mom, it's really hard sometimes to, to get time for yourself and your own stuff that you enjoy doing. So my goal today is to ride this dirty girl, first clean her, and then ride her around the property. That's my goal today, Penny Pickle. We're gonna ride around the property. You've been there before. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna be alone. No other ponies, and we're gonna have fun. You got it? She's looking happy. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. But they all disappear, they will let you down, so. We better stick together, let's come whatever when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. And then she slowed down a bit, yeah. Yeah, was good. I slowed her down. And did you see how she, I was slowing her down without pulling by sitting back a little bit deep in my feet and putting my feet a little bit forward? I don't know if that's right, but it worked. I couldn't see that. <laughs> I don't know. It was amazing. So I rode all the way around the property. It was amazing. We're going to have Caesar salad for supper. And Sam's making hamburger helper, which is Sophie's request, right? This is what a household with a mom who has horses is like, you guys. Mom. Hello, pooch. This person was trading me um, on Got Me and I for my ride for Oscar. And I passed her the trade. And she said, thank you so much. You're so nice. It's for my sister. It's her birthday. Aww. Feels nice to be good and to be nice, doesn't it? And you know what else is true? It feels terrible to be mean and to be hateful and hurtful. and. That's why whenever you're mean or hateful or hurtful, it makes you feel so bad inside that you want to explode. That's why it's important to always be kind. To always be kind, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?